Holy, that's a giant right there. I wonder if the camera will pick that up. That's, that's probably a 44, 45 incher. So Ryan and I are trying to load up on some croakers. We already got about probably a dozen in the well. I'd say like six. Six? No way. I put in three. You, you have to have put in like six or seven. Okay. Well, whatever, Mr. Negativity. We got like a dozen croakers in the well. About a dozen, Jeff. Yeah. And this is what I told you guys. It's all about the bait. So you catch as much good bait as you can, and then you take them out and follow the school snook, or take them to the inlet or wherever, the beach, the bridge. But right now, since it's flat, clear, and calm, and the snook bite is not that good, we're spending most of our time catching bait. So what we got here is Ryan went to Juno Bait and got some live shrimp. But you don't actually use them live. What you do is you use them dead. And very important, you take off of the shell, just like I'm doing here. And you get a little bite-sized piece for them. You don't want to fish too big of a bait. Just something they could fit in their mouth, just like that. And you've got to take the shell off. And then you got a little rig, just like I got here. A little weight, swivel, six pound, eight pound test, 10 pound test, and a small enough hook to where um, you can hook them easily. We got them. We got them good. And yeah, that's it. But I don't know, the schoolies, I never really did good. Schoolies July, August is usually the yeah. best, I think. Yeah, it is. But they're small. It's yeah. like you have to it's pick through. When you have to them. Yes. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even like teeth them that big because you really don't even get that much meat off. Them, no. So, this right here is a croaker and one of the best snook baits you could fish. And he doesn't want to stay in my hand. And it weeds out a lot of the smaller fish too. Yeah. Gotta hug him now. You're not gonna see him for four years. <laughs> Maybe like a year. Got him on. I wasn't sure if you had him or I had him. Yeah, I thought I did. Well, the croaker bite slowed down, so changed it up, and now I'm trying to catch perch. And it's working. We're catching them. Jesus. I'm telling you, it's like the most intense bite, too. Perch don't play. Oh, come on, you missed it. It. Well, I had one fishy and swallow it, spit it, didn't come back. Major key with thread fins since they swim so damn fast and snook have a hard time catching them. What you do is, you guys can't see this on camera, but I actually bite the tail with my teeth like this. That way they can't swim as fast. And then the snook can catch them. What the hell? You realize these fish aren't that big. No, you gotta get like super tight on him. He just spit it again. Chris, where's this Ryan? Ah. Is that his fish, Rick? Yep, that's it. That was a cuda. Uh, that's why I broke off right away. I was gonna say, is that snook just swimming right towards us? Yeah, you got cut. Your uh, bottom rod got cut by a cuda. Yeah, we were look. It was going off, and I looked at it. I picked it up, and nothing was doing anything. And then I saw the cuda like swimming right towards the pier. I was like, <laughs> set the hook, instant cut off. Where'd the snooks go? Straight under me. All of them. Oh, little dink. Can't say I didn't catch a snook today. Yeah, first fish on this new 
tackle industries. Dude, that thing was barely hooked. You see that? This guy was barely hooked right on the outside. It was hooked right here. Come on, man. Straight down. Not a big one, but still fun. Definitely beats not catching anything. One more snook. Try to catch one more snook at the pier, and then we're gonna go head over to the uh, inlet and try to catch them there. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to our destination. We got a live well full of good baits. We got herrings in there, croakers, perch, uh, dwarf jacks, and I'm here with Chris Lowe. And your boy, Juno Ryan, as you guys know him. What's Today's good, you two? And today is his last day of fishing in Florida for a very long time. Because he is going to the Marines Thursday. So salute to him. So we're doing a little investigating before we actually fish to see where the fish are. Because we got to put our baits in a bucket and walk him to where we're fishing. Because our thing, our live well setup is down there and it cannot be dragged out here. Later and see if I get bit. I cannot hold on to the croakers today. Through the nose. Excuse me, Juno Ryan. Whoa. Whoa. Oh boy. What do you think this is the pier? This is why I don't like inlet fishing. Right here. People like It's you. as if there's like 20 of us, too. That's my rock. That's what the Sebastian guys say. That is Ryan's rock though, by the way. What? That's my rock. Chris got one. Fish. Nice. He hit it right at your feet, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, we got a bleeder. So this fish is in very rough condition, isn't it? What, he swallowed it that bad? Yeah. Oh man. All right, I am retying because the 60 pound weighted rig is not working. Either the fish are just not there or they're not big and it's a bunch of smaller fish. So we're downsizing. And uh, Chris has caught two on 40 pound liter and a smaller hook and just letting it flatline. So that's what I'm switching up to too. It's all about that perch life. I caught that one on the greenie, but they're Jim. Eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Off. When I got eight, there was like five fish right there. And then I see some, there's like two right there on bottom, isn't there? Yeah, they're moving. I see it, I see it. Oh, he ate it, didn't he? Oh, it's a micro. This guy folded all the way up. So, two little ones today. I have a feeling I'm gonna try to do a nice release and he's gonna flop out and just yeah. get wrecked. There he goes. Oh, they're so fired up. You got like three following you. It's so just amusing to watch him follow it all the way up. They ate it right at the rocks. We ran out of little bait, so I gotta go back to the live well and get some smaller ones because the fish are not quite big enough to be eating those croakers and threadfins. I'm gonna get a bucket full of some smaller stuff. One day left of snook season and I really wanna get a slot. Get one more slot before the season ends and Ryan's slot is right there. He got one 28 and a half inches. 
So that's what I'm trying for. Hopefully I get one. Oh, we on. Got him on, but nah. Not ideal. Think is I always feel good as a land-based fisherman catching fish in front of boats when there's like four of them and they can go anywhere they possibly could want and they decide to go but they're not catching shit and they're not catching anything. If we had known that they were going to be this small and we needed to fish these small baits, we would have fished smaller reels, 4,000 size reels, make it more fun. But uh, we didn't know. We thought there was going to be big spawning fish out here eating croakers. Oh, come on. Did he get ripped? No, nope. he just got eaten again. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Oh, charging. It's a cuda. Swim them out. Dude, put them under. Dude, every single fish I've hooked today on the circle hook has been on from the outside of the mouth in. I don't get that. You see what I mean? It's from the outside of the mouth in. What you guys know about this secret bait, the dwarf jack? Sebastian locals just picking people off the rocks. Hold on, I got I gotta say something for the camera. That guy just swam from his boat with flippers and his rod completely underwater to the beach. That is what you call that's I don't know what to call that. Heart. I don't know what to call that. His reel's gonna need some servicing although. Yeah. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, this is not good. Man, so many small ones today. I think that's number four or five. So earlier, every time I reeled the snook, the uh, bait past the snook, they would just kind of follow it up and see what's going on. But now they want no interest in it. Well, today did not go as planned. We thought we were gonna get into a bunch of snook at the inlet. We brought a bunch of croakers with us today. And uh, Ryan has been out here a bunch of times where he takes a bunch of baits to the uh, inlet and he absolutely slays them but that was not the case today I don't think that big school of spawning fish was here today and maybe if they were they were just not eating what we had they did not want the croakers or perch a couple of guys on the boats like the boat behind us they had some sardines and they were getting tight they stayed tight but not us so I've been out here all day in Jupiter and now 
I'm gonna go to a beach a little further north from here and try to get on some sharks. So, so I will see you guys at the beach. Until that next video, stay salty my friends and I'll see you in the next one.